Alicia Kosakiewicz met the most sadistic and horrifying side of the internet and became a living example of the dangers online. I am that 13-year-old girl who was lured by an internet predator, transported across state lines to Virginia. In fact, not so very far from here, and enslaved by a sadistic pedophile monster. I walked out the front door and found that the boogeyman is real, and he lives on the web. He came for a 13-year-old girl, for a sex slave. He came for me. She was locked four days in an underground cellar without any kind of contact with the outside world and living through the most sordid tortures that a human being can imagine. He tortured me. He treated me like an animal, a dog. I basically did whatever I had to to survive. It's like I'm a whole entirely different person. That man did kill that little girl. He did. That girl's completely dead. The sleazy monster behind all this was Scott Tyree, a deviant man who posted on the internet everything he did to Alicia. However, what he saw as a fetish would eventually be the downfall of the pedophile and the release of the little girl. After four days of sheer hell, Alicia was rescued by the FBI. How did they find you? One of the friends that he was talking to about abducting and turning into his sex slave, uh, talking about me too, um, he came forward. I suppose he got nervous that this was now going to be on his hands if he murdered me, that he is now suspect as well. Alicia's face was all over the papers in his town. Her disappearance was the news of the moment, and it was there that the man saw Scott Tyree's contents. She finally recognized the face of the little 13-year-old girl. He came forward and told the FBI, and the FBI was able to locate him. Absolute miracle. Alicia had everything, a family that loved her and cared for her. She was a good student in school, but she was interested in meeting people online, and that's where Scott Tyree was able to seduce her. I never even realized that our chats had become more intimate. So we just talked about everything, not just about sex. He was interested in me as a person, my thoughts, my goals, my relationship with friends and family members. Six months passed before they finally met. After that came four days of living the worst hell. However, as the years went by, Alicia didn't let that intimidate her and started a crusade for all women who have lived through situations like hers and to also talk about the dangers of the internet. But I want you to know that I am not up here alone. Beside me, there are so many young girls whose stories will never be heard because they are dead, possibly enslaved, or just too terrified to speak out. Scott Tyree would spend 17 years locked up for his crime until he was released on parole terms. However, the pedophile would violate the terms of his situation and would eventually be sentenced to spend two more years in prison. As for Alicia, she became an activist so that no one else would have to go through the tragedy she went through. So I started doing this and speaking out when I was 14 years old, just about a year after my rescue. And it has helped me to take this horrible, awful thing that happened to me and to give it a purpose, give it a reason, and that is to help save other children and families from going through something like this. 